Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios. As you can probably tell, my voice is still a little bit off from doing Blueberry Festival. Um, but I wanted to do a couple videos for you guys because we have fair season coming up pretty soon. And you know, I mean, it's gonna get really busy really fast. So I figured I'd do this one for you. Um, we're gonna go over all of my placings from Stone Age Live, which compared to last year was not a lot, but it's still a substantial amount and I'm pretty proud of my horses. So here we go. Now I just have everybody laid out on the bed here. Um, but we'll start over here with Zeddy Moore. This is a little zebra baby that I have painted. He, he never lets me down. Um, he never fails to place. I mean, this guy is, he's awesome. I'll give you a little up close look at him. He's not for sale right now, but he will be in the future when his mama gets done. But he took a second in his class. Moving on, this is Blue Rhythmico, my mule and he took a second in his long years class. Briar, um, OF Briar. This little girl, my chips cutter, Wendy, took a third overall in the paint class, which it was a really big paint class. And this was a stone paint limited run because there's only 10 of her. So there were a lot of nice horses in that ring and she just happened to get third. In the Briar paint class, my Bobby Joe, whose name is Before You Go Go, like the 80s song, uh, she placed a first. And I gotta say that Bobby Joe is probably one of my favorite models in my collection, simply because I'm a sucker for redheads. <laughs> and I love anything with spots, be it happy spots or paint spots. So she is one of my faves. In the Thoroughbred class, um, Bleeding Hearts, my Rachel Alexandra, my prize model Rachel Alexandra, took first. And just to let you know that even even people who have shown for a while can, can have flubs at shows because um, I forgot to bring her up for the um, champion judging. And so I don't know, she may have actually gotten me a prize model too and I'll never know because I forgot to bring her up. I had so many horses going out at once that I forgot to bring her up. Whoops. <laughs> Moving on to part Arabs. Uh, my, my Morab Hey There Miss, or Delilah, took a second in her class. Love her. Sanku, the koi fish hippocampus that I painted, took first in his class. He can't get an Ann card because only um, only Unicorn and Pegasi can get Nan cards. Um, anybody wants to get that fixed, please talk to Nan. I think I'm going to because the judge um, said that he definitely deserved a Nan card and did not get one, so. Yeah. Then we have this newbie over here who um, was a consignment horse that I took with me to see if she would place. And I showed her as a Lipizzan. And she did place, she took a third, so good for her. Then another Old Faithful, uh, Sunny, my cranky little stone weanling um, from 2015. She took a third, good for Sunny. Over here we then have Cat Tracks, um, my little Premier Club baby from 2015, uh, Corazon. And he, I show him as a Campolina, same as his mama. And I actually didn't take his mom with me, but the judge really liked the coloration on these guys, so she probably would have done really well. But he took a first in his um, Spanish Breed Foals class, and then a reserve champion in the Foal division. And last but not least, I have my star of the day. This is Careless Whisper, and he is a um, Peter Stone uh, Andalusian, or Iberian, but I don't show him as a Spanish breed, I actually show him as a Camarillo White Horse, um, which is a California native breed. It's a mix between a, um, a Morgan and I think it's like Morgan, Saddlebred, Quarter Horse, Mustang, just, it was kind of like a mixed bag, but they have to be white with pink skin, brown eyes, and tan hooves. So sometimes he does and doesn't place like he might not place well sometimes, some judges just don't see it, but this judge obviously saw it because he had a second place um, in his class and then went on to get a reserve champion for the division. And then 
one reserve champion overall for the entire um, stone regular run section, earning me this little baby. And she's painted by Audrey Dixon of Wild Horse Studios. Um, and honestly, thank you, Audrey, for giving me everything I ever wanted in a stone era baby. Um, but her name is Wham Bam, thank you, ma'am. That's what I've named her. And you can see more pictures of her on her Instagram. But she is absolutely stunning. And there was a there was an adult version for the Grand. Um, but they actually let us pick. Dawn was so kind as to let us pick what we wanted. And the lady who had Grand actually picked the Grand horse, and so I got the one that I wanted by default, which was awesome. So yeah, there you go. There's my entire Stone Age Live class list. Well, places. Places. So as you can see, I didn't have a lot of places, but this time I also didn't take a lot of horses. Usually I pack my class list so that I have like two or three per class, but we were so focused on bringing stuff home that I actually had to limit my class list to like one horse per class that I was going in, so I didn't even have the horses that I usually do. A lot of my awesome showers were left at home just because, you know, too many in a class. But for now, Pony Pals, I hope you enjoyed this segment. And lots of fun stuff is coming for you real soon. I will go rest up my voice, I promise, so that I can do more videos. But in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video, Pony Pals. Bye! You guys should have heard me a couple days ago. I sounded like Mr. Meeseeks from Rick and Morty.